Okay, so kind of a slow news day, right? Any pumps? Oh, I forgot to mention in the update. Uh, remember, there is the L, meme coin L, airdrop and launch tonight. I don't think it's going to be worth more than... I, I don't know if, if they're going to do like two cents a follower. Say you have a thousand followers, that might give you 20 bucks. If you have 5,000 followers, that might give you 100 bucks. If you have 50,000 followers, 50, followers, you might be eligible for like a $500 airdrop. Uh, maybe at peak. It's kind of weird if they're doing it for everyone. How many people verified? Maybe like 10,000 people claimed the airdrop. I don't know. It was only for Twitter Blue. And it's a psyop that Elon tweeted about L, and it's supposedly it was an illusion too. Um. Some, some sort of government docks. That's a perfect spot for snakes under that bush. Rusty, because there's not a lot of... Uh, space is for large animals, so the snakes are safe under there, except for the rabbits. Rabbits can get to them, but the snakes can also get to the rabbits. Um, and squirrels. So, so it's about doxing and privacy. So that's why you had to give your Twitter blue credentials to the company in order to claim the airdrop. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's going to be pretty interesting. I think this thing goes higher, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Um, you got a puppy over there. And then the other dog's just chilling. This is perfect. I don't want to do a lot of walking because I'm going to have to walk through these parties, these kids playing sports, and then the kids having a family picnic, the kids on the playground. It's too much. Then I might run into a couple dogs if I try to go around them. So everyone has their dog on a leash here at this park. Okay, so that's the meme coin L launching at 3 a.m. UTC tonight. I don't think this vlog is going to be up, but anyway, it's going to launch. I did a quick update about the launch on Twitter. Some people said there was like poop on my butt or I sat on poop. Yeah, probably did, but uh, I took care of it, washed it off after. So crypto vlog, June 26, 2023. Last night's vlog, I uploaded uh, the 22nd vlog or the 23rd vlog. Friday night by mistake there were two night vlogs so because I've been busy with trading during the day so I'll get uh that vlog should be posted shortly it's processing HD before it goes up I, I wait for 4k before I make them live that way my viewers can watch in 4k versus SD or 1080p so um any news last night there was a near play near an Alibaba Al Alibaba cloud Foundation partners had sent near from like a dollar thirty-two for to dollar fifty-nine. I'm sure, exactly. So oh, that was almost twenty percent. The sick pump in the near future. No, the near blockchain. So, uh, yeah, good for near for being sponsored by. It just, they just signed up for Alibaba Cloud program in Europe <laughs> to use their tech to use their their cloud operations. Great partnership, right? No funding, nothing. Just being approved to use the Alibaba cloud network. So, um, moving on, <laughs> FTX. So a repost from April, we had news again from Bloomberg originally that, um, actually earlier I wanted to talk about that Binance actually decided not to delist the privacy coins in Poland and France and other parts of Europe. So like Mob, Pivx, Zcash, XMR, so those coins that are supposed to be unavailable to customers in France and Poland as of an announcement on May 31st, but then they said today, wait a second, I'm not sure where the source was, but it, it was from Cointelegraph originally. They said, wait a second, no, these coins can be traded. We're gonna wait for the, the legal clarity instead of Binance taking the initiative and blocking those privacy coins because I guess the blockchain commissions in those countries said, we don't want privacy coins. We want completely transparent blockchains and transactions. But it seems like Binance is going to be pulled from all these countries in Europe. They're being banned from Belgium and uh, Netherlands. And they said, but people were already using Palau should be okay. Palau IDs, RNS. But you can't register under a new Palau ID on Binance or OKX. Uh, Bybit should be okay. And Gate and Mexi. I don't think Mexi. Mexi doesn't even require KYC. Sendex, except they don't even have market makers, so it's just no liquidity at all on 
a Sendex, formerly Bitmax. Okay. And word is coming around that they may be banned entirely in the e European Union. That would be crazy, right? Only safe in the UK, but no futures in the UK. Moving on, but that, that's just the rumor that they may pull out of the EU entirely. That, that would hurt their business so much. They were banned in the EU. That's like half the customers remaining, right? It's Asia, EU, and then like 10% in Africa and South America, or 15%. Not sure. Maya, just, go, just going for it. Hey, your ball's here, Maya. She'll come back to it. I guess she just forgot she had ball amnesia. Hi. She tripped over the leash a few minutes ago. I just have her on a leash in case there's a motion. It's easier. But she's pretty good at recall as long as she has her ball. Okay, and then finally the FTX news. Posted from April, their news that they recovered $7.3 billion in assets. It was like $7.6 billion, but I guess the Bitcoin price came down. It's funny. It's double because the Bitcoin price was like 16000 or 15.5 at the low when FTX rugged. And now it's 30000 30, 30.2000 So, yeah, they recovered more assets because the Bitcoin price bounced. Interesting how that works. And it's crypto assets. It's not USD. It wasn't converted. So... They, they owe double anyway if their liabilities are 8.7 billion at the time <laughs> well actually bitcoin was like 21.4k at the start of the fud um back at, like november 4th or 5th i don't remember exactly the ftt fud the alameda balance sheet being off okay so um is there a, oh, a little birdie so they recovered the funds and people are like old news all the tree capital news traders are like old news and a few are like it doesn't matter it's news again it said ftt from a dollar six maybe a dollar five all the way to a dollar 43 of course i tried shorting like a bozo at a dollar 20 dollar 22 i'm like it's the halfway point it's the high over the weekend it's a good spot to short it blew past that I closed out a dollar 36 it hit dollar 43 of course it came down all the way to dollar 16 and a half or so then i tried longing at dollar 20 got stopped out at dollar 18 stop loss is too tight so in these plays if you're willing to hold to like a dollar 50 a lot of people t try to time the, the top on these news trades to inverse sell the news or short the, these news trades sell the news sorry so what happens is you just get blown out you try to get one two three percent stop loss 90 percent of the time or 80 percent of the time you just get blown out it's better on these trades trades just to scale just to keep adding on the way up because they will eventually retrace and then maybe one out of ten will just keep going and blow through all your stops but your 90 percent win rates on the ones that come down will make will make up like two to three x wins over your losses in total p l i think i'm not i'm not that experienced with news trading i just try to observe and report observe and report so um, that was the FTX news there. A lot of alts dumped like 10%. They retraced, not fully their weekend gains, but like half of their weekend gains. Say if they pumped like 30% on Saturday, they might have retraced two thirds down 20% to that. I know that math doesn't work out, but I mean, they're back to the level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out, watch out. So he stole the ball. He doesn't give up the ball. He, watch out, watch out. Monkey in the middle. He <laughs> should just trample them. Watch out. Give that ball. So it's impossible. Back turned. There's no way in hell unless she jumps on top and makes some of it. So they do a little monkey in the middle. So he growls. Give that ball. Come on. And shoot. Good news is she won't jump on top of him and bite him. His mouth is full, so he won't do like a, a soft bite on her. OK, 
Okay, and meme coins. So I talked about FUMO. It's down to like 37K from a high of 64.5K on Saturday, I believe. Or Friday. Maybe Friday afternoon-ish. But there, there was a clone. Of course, there's always a community coin. All the clones come out called uh, Mega Fumo Rock. So it's supposedly redeemable for a rock. There's 999 NFTs. They actually launched NFTs like BlackRock, which I should have freaking sold. I think when they were 0.6, I had five of them. I should have at least sold half there. Or at 0.4, I should have unloaded two or three out of my five. I just wasn't thinking too many distractions. I'm in like 20 to 30 positions at all times, including leverage, meme coins, and NFTs, and it's just a mess. Plus my long-term holdings of like Miladies and Pudgies and whatever NFTs. I, oh, I have a mutant ape that was down from like 27 ETH when I bought it to 7 ETH the other day. So crazy things to keep up track of. Anyway, so you, you were entitled to 5% of the the token supply they launched the token if you bought or minted one of the 999 free nfts i think they were free or, or very minimal less than 0.01 and watch out watch out watch out Um, so I, I'm not sure how much that airdrop was worth. I didn't check, but Fumo went from like 10 cents on open or five cents. Someone posted a 30 X 33 X Maestro bot sniping report where they sniped 0.01 ETH and it was worth like 0.33 when it was $2. It did clip $4, 400 K market cap. And then it retraced down to like 250, 260 right now. Um, but definitely not compare comparable to the 40 million sorry um 20 million at peak or 19 million 19.2 million at peak fumo market cap but it did hit 400k which is pretty impressive about 150th of the market cap so that's meme coin news anything nothing else i didn't really trade much ethereum meme token down a bit it pumped from about 0045 to 209 so about 5x four four and a half x then it dipped, it's down 50 or 60%. Of course I didn't sell all, I only sold 40%. Not even at the top at like 0013, so. I gave back, but I just buy the dips and eventually it will, will recover unless Bitcoin goes swiftly to zero, then the meme coins die. But Ethereum and Bitcoin, meme coins, on deck screen are just typing Ethereum and Bitcoin, they're doing well. And I, I guess that's it. Oh, and yesterday's vlog, I wanna make a correction, uh, hop. J-A-A-P, forgot to shout you out. I remembered as soon as I turned off the vlog, like two minutes later, so sorry about that. Thank you for the comment, Hop. And he said, my vlogs are good enough to watch again. Wow, watching the same vlog twice. Some, somebody was doing that challenge. Uh, I think Bing was watching them all twice over. Okay, that's it, pretty short. So get ready, remember the Ripple news is coming. And it's always good if you have a lot of capital. If you don't have a lot of capital, do the a couple of these meme coin plays get ready for the launch try to snipe whatever you want to do um and a little alpha there's a peppy ai nft that's going to give you a token they haven't released the token this is different because they haven't released the product it's a DeFi dashboard kind of like blacksmith and with a sniper tool supposedly it's not even out but the market cap's like a million or 700k i don't i don't know exactly i gotta do the math so it does five or 10 X, maybe it will. If, if it's actually a great dashboard and sniping tool and like dung is 4 million market cap, which is, is similar. So they're hoping Peppy AI when it launches in a few weeks that it sends the NFT, which is redeemable for the tokens from, it was 0.5 a couple weeks ago. Now it's 0.7 ETH each. Um, they're hoping it sends it like five or 10 X. I mean, people that are speculating on similar sniping tools, meme coins and tools. So blacksmith should be, uh, um, the beta's coming out, free beta, I think. I don't know if it's testable. He said he was gonna have uh, big Twitter accounts and crypto people test it and then promote it and talk about it and receive an airdrop for a, a license edition, a, a key, a forge key. So maybe they'll do that, but hopefully he, the blacksmith dev opens beta access for everyone.
and it sends the token. The token did rally 50 or 60% from the bottom. That's it. And yeah, if you have a little bit of capital, there are certain plays like moonshots you can do, either sniping, as I just said, or getting in early. Always, you always want to be early, but you don't want to be so early where you're losing 90% of the time just buying rug after rug. So uh, just spot the plays. I'll try to help you along the way. And I'll see you guys later. Like FUMO was a great one to snipe. If you got the contract early, if you were in a group, remember, you got to be in sniping groups. If you hold the NFTs, but NFTs are like two to five ETH for uh, DC DAO or consortium key. Consortium key is like two and a half ETH, DC DAO. It's like four or five ETH. So definitely to be in the alpha sniping groups. Uh, there are cheaper ones for like one ETH. I forgot the name though. Uh, Maya. So he did give the ball to her. That's no, right there. And that's it. Thanks for watching. This is kind of a quick vlog. Might give you a short tour, but I don't want the people to get weird because I'm holding up a camera. So maybe maybe I'll do a morning vlog in a few days. Okay, guys. Watch out for the snakes and rabbits. Snakes and rabbits. So bathroom, this is cool. There's an upper, I'll show you real quick. I strained both my Achilles tendons. That's why I wore shoes in last week's, last Monday's vlog. So there's an upper playground and there's like a, oh, look at the lizard. Where'd he go? There he is. There's Dana. And a lower playground. So we'll go in here guys remember the way or you can walk around there's a path this is a great park actually there's a bathroom a baseball field this is a full park this is a park man there's not a, like a well you can play football actually between the two baseball fields maya go on oh that rock actually hurt my foot Hate when it gets me right in the arch of my foot. Yeah, and then we just go down. Continue down. Hi, guys. Yeah, they're having a good time. It's the field, the field between the fields. Oh, there's actually only one baseball field here. And there's an open field there. Oh shit, that big dog. Right there, where is it? There, it's going between the cars, it's gone. No, it's right there still. So. Look how big it is. He'll beat it up if it gets close. I mean, that dog could beat them up, but it's on a leash. Yeah, that's it. There's the family over there. I think it's my family. 